new digital SCT question time. And this is the cross text question. Why? As always, because y'all been asking for it, right? So I've actually looked through every cross text question that's in the blue book so far, as well as some uh, Khan Academy questions. And I have dissected the pattern for you guys. So this is the most common type of pattern. So let me give you a little bit of background on these because I haven't done them before, okay? Number one, if you are coming from paper SAT and you guys remember doing double passage, do apply those principles to these questions. What are those principles? I'll get to them in a second. And number two, these are going to be not that many in a test. So, so far, I've only seen this come up once on the entire test, okay? So not in module one and module two, it'll just be on one of them. And it'll be either number eight, nine, or 10. So like that range-ish. That's why I made this number nine, okay? So the most common type of this um, cross-text question is, da -da 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 -da, drum roll. Okay, that wasn't that dramatic. Okay, so it's going to be response. Okay, I'll write that somewhere. Excuse my already atrocious handwriting. Okay, so there are many wordings that could let you know this is a response, which is, what would he say? How would he respond? How would he characterize? And almost all of these are pretty much this. What would text two say about text one? Okay, that's it. That's the most common type of cross text question. Okay, and if you guys are familiar with paper SAT, or even if you're not, I'll just tell you guys this. The most common, actually so far on every single response question, it's been this, I disagree. Okay, now what is it? Oh, what about agreement questions? Literally, if it's an agreement question, it'll say, what would they agree on, okay? So unless they say, what do they agree on? They disagree, okay? The default setting is that text two disagrees with something about text one. He just doesn't like something about it. He's hating, okay? So as always, do we read through all of this wall of text that I've typed through my broken fingers? No, I don't. I don't care, okay? So let's go here. How would the author of text two most likely characterize text one's blah, 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 blah? Okay, what would text two say about text one? Again, it's disagreement. Okay, so what can I immediately, immediately eliminate? Yeah, B. It is reasonable, but no, I don't agree, okay? If I'm saying it's reasonable, that means I agree, okay? I have to disagree, I have to find some fault, flaw, problem, whatever with it, okay? So that's out, okay? And D, it's surprising is a little too weak, okay? So this is, I'm gonna give you guys the probability. You could leave surprising as like, well, I don't know if that's agreement or disagreement, but the pattern I've seen so far in every blue book, blue book and Khan Academy question is there has to be a stronger disagreement, okay? Now, if College Board uh, decides to throw us a curveball, or if you guys take the June test or uh, the future test, and you guys see something that breaks that pattern, please let me know and I'll make sure to tackle that. But so far it has been very clear cut disagreement. So the answer is either A or C. It is unreasonably blah, blah, blah. It is excessively blah, blah, blah. Now I actually have to read. But as you guys already know, these quick and dirty videos are also allowing you to save time and also when you guys are panicking. So let's say you're running out of time or you understood nothing about this passage. You just go, okay, it's a response question. They have to disagree, I'm down to A and C. I can just move on, okay? Now let's actually look at the main point. So passage one says blah, 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 okay? The main point of all of these texts are going to be closer to the conclusion than in the beginning, okay? Let's look here, uh, right here, the very last sentence. An exciting discovery has been made, I don't care about the rest, okay? So passage one or text one says there's an exciting discovery. What is text two gonna say before we've been looking at? This story is actually not that exciting, or maybe it's just bad, okay? Doesn't have to be um, that level of disagreement. It could be either one. It's not that exciting, or it's actually a stupid discovery, whatever, okay? So text two, what does it say about the discovery? Let's see, the word still. As you guys know from my other videos, right? When I have a contrast, on the other hand, however, yet or still, my main, co my main point, main coin, main point comes after, right? So like, oh yeah, that dress looks lovely, but, yeah, I don't think that's for you. What is that? You should not buy that dress. That's my main point. That's the one after, okay? The team cautions that the compound most likely behaves quite differently in humans than it does in protists, okay? So it's quite different and it is unclear, okay? So text one says there's some type of exciting discovery. Text two says, but it's probably different and it's also unclear. What is this? Now, if I get deeper into this, it's this science more work 
to be done. That's a very common sentiment in the research passages. Okay, so which one of these questions says text two thinks text one discovery is not that exciting? Okay, it's not that exciting. The answer here is not A, it is unreasonably dismissive. Text one is not dismissive, but text one is excited. So let's see. It is excessively optimistic. Why? Because they, they thought it was exciting, okay? So, and then the rest of it, you guys can read through. I would appreciate it if you guys actually read these passages because I write them, but this is what you can do to kind of break down. I'll let me give you guys like an algebra kind of formula way of doing it, okay? So when it's text two response to text one, it's this, okay? Text one thinks blah, okay? Text two says it's wrong. That's it, okay? So what is that? Text one thinks this is exciting. Text two says it's not exciting. That's it, okay? So that just gets, what is it? Paraphrase, right? Paraphrase. That could almost be my catchphrase for SAT because we do it every single test, right? So yeah, the exciting just turns optimistic and we are just denying that. We are hating, we're generational haters. And that's what we have on the cross text question on the SAT, okay? So the next video is going to be on the exception to this, which is more rare. That's going to be on the cross-text agreement. But again, that is the exception. The cross-text questions are going to, by default, to be called response. They can be called, uh, what would he say? How would he characterize? Um, what would he respond with? All of those are going to be, he's going to disagree, OK? So that's it for today's question, guys. And thank you for letting me know you guys want the cross-text questions, because who else is going to do these but me? Probably nobody else. Okay. See you guys next time. Study every day with Sexy J. That's the best way. Y'all already know. Bye-bye.